the phone rang on September 19, 2006, and I heard, you have breast cancer. And the first thing I said was, no, I don't. I don't have time for this. The Hope and Bloom connection was made because my sister read an article in the Boston Globe about Hope and Bloom, and she made a phone call. And then Chris Kennedy got a phone call, and Chris Kennedy of Kennedy's Country Gardens came to plant a garden at my house. There's no doubt that having this garden helped in my recovery because it just put a huge smile on my face. The generosity of Chris in Kennedy's Country Garden was overwhelming. It, it just it made me smile every single day when I would pull down the driveway, and there's absolutely no doubt that that helps when you're going through treatment for breast cancer. I think uh, anyone can help with Hope and Bloom, whether it is donating money or whether it's donating your time or your talent to uh, help people who are going through cancer treatments. My whole thought process in this is if uh, the, the cancer treatment that people are going through is not a fun process at all, and when you leave, there, when you leave in the morning to go to cancer treatment and you have something to look forward to when you come home, that is our goal. So through this whole process, um, every day when, they, when the cancer patients are going through the treatments, they have something to look forward to every single day. We've done our job.